Hi, welcome, this is Clemens at Elector. In this video we will have a go at sniffing Bluetooth Low Energy or BLE data. Being able to do this is very useful for debugging BLE problems. This video does not go into the technical details of Bluetooth Low Energy or BLE. We will just set up a small BLE based data logging system and a BLE sniffer and then have a look at the data that is flowing around in such a system. As BLE system I build a simple client server system consisting of a sensor node and a display node. The system is explained in detail in the article Bluetooth Low Energy with ESP32C3 and ESP32 written by my colleague Matthias and published on pages 8 to 11 of the September-October 2022 edition of Elector Magazine. The sensor node consists of an ESP32C3 module with a DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor attached to it. The sensor node is the BLE server. The display node is made of an ESP32 Pico kit with a small OLED display connected to it. The display node is the BLE client. Both modules are programmed using the Arduino IDE. For this to work you must first install the UAG2 OLED display library, the DHT11 sensor library and the accompanying Adafruit unified sensor library. The download link for the software can be found in the description below. Compared to the original software, I modified the server side slightly to simplify breadboard wiring. After assembling the circuits on breadboards and programming them with the right program, they connect to each other almost immediately. When a connection is established, the display node starts showing the ambient temperature and the relative humidity. You can visualize the data received by the display node also in a serial terminal. The sensor node toggles its RGB LED every 2 seconds when it reads new data. For the BLE sniffer I used an NRF52840 dongle from Nordic Semiconductor. They have published a detailed guide that explains how to turn it into a BLE sniffer. For this to work you must download and install NRF Connect for Desktop and Wireshark. Use the NRF Connect tool to program the BLE sniffer software into the dongle. After installing Wireshark it must be configured to allow it to capture data from the dongle. You will need Python 3 for this. Also you must add a profile for the sniffer. These are all simple steps clearly explained in the NRF BLE sniffers user guide. Once the dongle has been reprogrammed and you configured Wireshark as described in the user guide, you are ready to sniff some BLE data. Select the NRF sniffer for Bluetooth LE as the interface and then click the shark fin button to start capturing. If all is well and your BLE system is running, you should see data packets coming in. Once you have captured data packets, you can analyze them to see what is going on. This is where things become difficult, because there are many packets. In my case, most of them are of the LELL protocol and there are tons of them. Inspecting these packets does not reveal anything to me, but I am no BLE expert. To find our data in this haystack isn't easy. First you must get a capture stream going. When capturing, in the NRF BLE sniffer toolbar, select DHT11 ESP32 C3. Now the source column should start to show master and slave entries. Stop capturing after a few seconds. The sensor node sends data only every 2 seconds, so scroll 2 seconds back in time. Scroll to the column entitled Info. Now scroll slowly down, forward in time, until you see a received handle value notification. That is what we are looking for. Select the line and inspect the lower right window. The first 5 bytes of the last 8 contain our data encoded as ASCII. The format is 2 digits, a decimal point and 2 digits. The digits are in the hexadecimal range 30 to 39. Subtract 30 to get the digit. The hexadecimal value 2E represents the decimal point. In the main window scroll to the left to make the protocol column visible. For the line we are looking at the protocol is ATT which stands for attribute. Now that we know this we can set a display filter to remove all the stuff we don't want to see. Type BTATT in lowercase and hit enter. The filter bar should turn green. Now only the ATT packets are shown. If you start capturing again, you will only see the ATT packets. When the sensor and display are connected, they should come in at a rate of once every 2 seconds. 
There is a message for temperature and one for humidity. And there you are, you are now able to sniff BLE packets. This can be very useful for debugging Bluetooth low energy issues. There is, of course, much more to it than what I showed in this short video, but I am sure that with the help of the internet and some perseverance, you will be able to solve your BLE problems. Good luck!